Hi, uh, it's Tabla Mom and today we are going to do a dish that we really love back home. Uh, it's called a deep fried handello and in English handello is known as smelt fish and it's a great snack. Uh, you can even have it with a meal with uh, we have it with rice and curry as well uh, but I would consider it uh, like uh, McDonald's fries back home because we love to sit in the evening near the beach and you know enjoy a plate of this there's nothing like it so I decided to do this video because the recipe I'm following, I really like it. Uh, the only thing is it's in Sinhalese. So I thought I'll do it in English for those who, who aren't Sri Lankan and who don't speak the language. So I'm really excited to try this and I think it will be great. So I'm just going to list out the ingredients. We have about 250 grams of uh, smelt fish. Uh, and in his recipe, he doesn't really give out exact quantities, but from what it shows, uh, I think we can just roughly gauge. So um, we've got about two teaspoons of uh, turmeric powder, some uh, pepper, and uh, he says to use salt water because it absorbs better for the fish which will kind of make it more tastier as well when you deep fry it uh, we've got some flour and i didn't have the regular uh, biscuit powder which we use to deep fry i only had panko so i hope it will still turn out well and he also says for garnish we can use some red onion tomatoes and uh, a curry leaf i've got like a sprig of curry leaf and we need two limes to kind of marinate the smelt fish in uh, so let's start that now so now we're going to marinate the smelt fish in the lime and salt and pepper and then leave it aside for 10 minutes for it to absorb all those lovely flavors so uh, what I did was I cut up the two limes and I put the juice and I poured it over uh, you normally put the salt and pepper first but that's okay I just kind of um, went ahead and poured the lime so I'm just going to put some salt water um, put a fair amount to give it some flavor and then sprinkle some uh, pepper as well. I have coarse black pepper which I feel it's going to give it a nice texture as well and then we're gonna get in there and nicely mix everything in okay. and then we'll just set it aside for 10 minutes and leave it to absorb all those juices. So now we're going to make uh, the mixture for the batter uh, so what I've done is I've put about I would say there's about two cups of uh, what may I think about one and a half cups of flour and uh, an egg some turmeric and um, the coarse black pepper again and uh, some salt water and what he says is it's good to mix all this into the batter so the batter has flavor as well so we're going to gently mix it in and he says the egg will really make all the ingredients bind together nicely and help to coat the fish beautifully. So what I'm going to do is mix it all in like this and then what he does is he says to use uh, room temperature water uh, just to kind of get everything into a nice uh, consistency to dip the fish in so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now so now we've mixed in all those ingredients together and uh, what happened was I think I had a little bit too much flour I think maybe about one cup should be enough but I don't mind as I think I have more fish uh, than what he used so I'll, I really look, want to have more rather than less so we can really coat the fish well so what I've done is I've uh, mixed all those ingredients together and I've increased the quantity of water we needed to get this this kind of consistency is what you're looking for 
and mine is a little lumpy um, I think we could have got a little better consistency but uh, it's the first time so hopefully next time will it will be a little smoother and uh, you never know unless you double right uh, marinated uh, fish our batter and the panko breadcrumbs and now we're going to fry it uh, so this part uh, I'm going to be doing it for the first time so hope I don't make too much of a mess of it okay so we coat it well Then drop it into the hot oil. So I'm going to do about five and uh, just for you to get the idea of it and uh, so far it's looking pretty good so let's see how it comes out. So now we have our completed uh, dish. We've fried the fish and it looks pretty good. Uh, one tip I could say is that when you dip the batter and you go to put it in the uh, breadcrumbs, I suggest you uh, maybe tap it a bit on the side so you drain the excess batter because what I found was I kind of uh, maybe put a little bit too many fish in at once and it was making the uh, breadcrumbs clumpy and harder to coat the fish evenly. So I think it's better you just kind of dip the, uh, just pat off the excess batter when you're dipping it into the breadcrumbs and try to have the breadcrumbs as uh, nice and dry as possible. So that makes, it helps to coat the fish evenly. So it uh, looks pretty good and we're just, I've garnished it with some limes and I'm just gonna top it off with some um, onion rings, which I've sliced and put that on top to just give it a nice effect and uh, yeah okay that one's stubborn <laughs> okay voila and there we go our fried uh, smelt fish or fried handello. Bon appetit!